Good morning. We are on our way to the Rose City Vintage Market and I'm really excited to shop this market. It's going to be a different experience than this summer because I'm not hosting the outdoor market because it's obviously, as you can see outside, way too cold here in Oregon during the winter months, but actually it's not winter, it's fall. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to the market. We're going to go find some good vintage and I'll take you with us. Today is the Rose City Vintage Market here in Portland and I'm about to head inside and see what kind of treasures I can find. Two seconds in the door. They even have dancing happy penguins flanking it. How funny is this? I love this. This is a stunning space. Perfect balance of like Danish modern mixed with brutalist style. Look at this canister. It's fascinating. We're all freaking out over this mirror. Who is the designer on it? Look at, we'll use Darren for scale. Look at, yes. Darren is five foot five. No, he's not. That thing's incredible. It kind of looks like a spider in a good way, and I didn't know there was a good way. Look at the joints at each end. Oh, yeah, the detail. Got my outfit on par. Look at the detail. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, you can do a fit check in it. <laughs> do you guys remember when I did the Oregon Coast trip and I picked up some wooden Milo Bauman chairs that were tattered for, I think, $5 each? This is what they could look like recovered. These are the exact same chairs. That's inspiration for me to get a sewing machine out. You guys have to check out Northwest Modern. They have furniture, art, and amazing objects. Look at these Spanish art glass, hand blown and painted by Jose Moser. Those are incredible. That looks like you're putting pressure. I think you're doing that moving yourself. See? Is Laura going to spend <laughs> less than $500 today? Okay, let's see. What do the spirits say? Oh, oh, darn. I mean, that's exciting actually for me. On my way 350 with my first purchase <laughs> i think the board was wrong thank you loving on the lit up dress form that's fantastic jesse loves lights that's his deal that is his deal we can't copy that this is a really great piece of art um it's not very often you see old ruins like that with those blue colors 125 Greek temple. 
That's great. We're so impressed by all the incredible mid-century modern at this show. Everybody brought their A game. It's like the angry Pringles guy. <laughs> you know what? That actually does look like the Pringles like guy. Pringles, Mr. Pringles, angry. Well, player. you can keep Pringles in it. Yeah. Lisa Larson Afghan Hound in the wild. First time I've seen it. We will see how much he's asking. I actually have one that was a gift, but it would be really neat to find another one. They could be twinsies. Let's see how much. How much for the Afghan? I'd like to do a hundred dollars. A hundred. So excited about this. What? That? Really? Yeah. That got you excited. My uncle had this and it used to freak us out as a kid. All the time. I can see why that would scare you as a kid. Your uncle had it? Yeah. What does he do? Does he talk? Mm. How much is as it? As found. It's only $12? Head. I mean, I can kind of see why. So it doesn't work. Would you be able to fix it? I don't know. This guy spits if he worked. But it's like the tie is the trigger. I think you pull yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Loving on this copper candle holder. It looks very hand four-ish. This base is heavy too. You could double as a weapon if you needed it. Some really good art in this space too. And Jesse's actually gonna get that thing. Like weird. <laughs> Jesse is showing off his creepy his find walls. to everybody. He's so excited. Even though I'm scared of it, I'm excited okay. for him. So he doesn't get that excited about so things. It hangs on the wall. It's awful. And then I have to fix it up because it's broken. But you pull the tie, and they would laugh. And this one spits at you. No. Why? Why? And why do you love this? The so eyes much? would roll around. So. <laughs> oh he only got. He only paid ten dollars too. That's it was twelve, amazing. and he paid ten. It was if anything. Yeah, it's that ten bucks. So I mean, ten bucks. Weird. Ridiculous. Everyone's gonna be like, "Your husband's weird." You can't even get lunch for ten bucks anymore. No, you and now I just true. got something to last a lifetime. Yeah, that's gonna like bring back so many positive yeah. memories. <laughs> I just can't wait. He's gonna scare the so bejesus out of all of our nieces and nephews but, like, with that thing. Keep that up year round. This is a Halloween yeah, Jesse. I think what that is it? goes on the front door, like no, it does not. Door. No, it does not. <laughs> it's like the icing on the cake. No, I love no. That. I'm wiring it to the door. It's going in your office, so and I'm never going to step foot in there. Bell, it no. <laughs> These are candle holders by the artist Jean Byron. She was a Canadian artist who moved to Mexico in the mid-1950s, and she rose to prominence in the 1960s and 70s, creating tin candelabras and even some amazing wall sconces. Recently, I came across one of my favorite pieces by her, the Copper Candelabra at Oregon City Antiques. That vendor knew what they had and had it listed for over $700. But those pieces can easily sell for over $1,000 online. These might not be my bucket list Copper Candelabra, but they are still fantastic, and I am excited to own a piece of art by Jean Byron. We're gonna get these. That's a pretty good deal, $45. them like they're little jellies. Don't they kind of look like gummy bears? No. You can just eat them. Yeah. 
These are fascinating. They're from the 1980s. He's always got such fabulous stuff. Wide variety of unique, mixed with designer, mixed with kind of oddities. It's my tripod, it's my tripod. I'm scared. The stuff in this space is so good, I don't know how much it's gonna be, but it never hurts to ask. Yeah, it's the tripod one I've been dreaming of for years. I'm gonna put a fern in it, if it's in my budget. That's okay, it's not for sale. <laughs> I guess that helps that it's not in my budget because it's not for sale. <laughs> Ceramic. Oh, they're from Mexico. Interesting. Those are really neat. As always, the Rose City Vintage Market was awesome. I found some really great things. Obviously, I'm most excited about the candle holders. Those are something that I've been looking for for such a long time. That artist is amazing. She made some incredible art throughout the 1960s and 70s. That is my favorite era of design, even though I have stuff all the way back from the late 1800s up to maybe the 80s and 90s in my home. Definitely the 1960s and 70s speaks to me. Obviously, we know what Jesse's favorite find was. Oh my gosh, that thing is so bizarre, but he is overly excited about it and that makes me really happy for him. Jesse doesn't resell, so he doesn't buy that much stuff. So it's really exciting when he finds something that is nostalgic from childhood, even if it was on a creepy level. If you've followed me for a long time, I think you can probably guess where that is gonna go in our house. Not somewhere that I'm gonna see it every day, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm gonna take the candle holders inside and we're gonna decorate with those in the kitchen. And then we will head to the studio and I will show you the jewelry items that I got and a few other things. But before we do that, I have to thank Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. You already know that I am a huge fan of Squarespace. I've been selling my vintage finds on my Squarespace website for the last eight years. And like many of you, I was a little bit overwhelmed with the idea of creating my own website from scratch. But I quickly realized that things have changed. They have come so far and Squarespace offers you the tools and the knowledge that you need to do it yourself. They have endless options for customizable templates. They offer an amazing community of other other makers and other users that will share their knowledge with you and help you problem solve and troubleshoot anything. So you will literally have access to years worth of collective user experience. 
So if you have been on the fence of whether or not you were ready to launch your own website, I promise you, you can do it. And truly, it is a really fun and creative process. And I just know that you're going to be so proud of yourself when you have a beautiful website to show for it at the end of the day. Head to squarespace.com to start your free trial today. And when you are finally ready to launch your own website, head to squarespace.com slash left coast to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. A huge thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. The kitchen is so close to being completed and these candle holders are going to be the perfect addition to the giant Burlwood vase that I recently got. And Lorenzo says hi, by the way. So I also got this one at the Rose City Vintage Market. And I got this one at the Oregon City Antiques a little while ago. And they both have the exact same look to them. So I'm kind of thinking that I'm going to use this in a different space in the house because that's just too much naughty, rustic wood in the same space. The candle holders though, I do think look really good. They're mixed metal. And I've been looking for candle holders by this Mexican artist for such a long time. We've really only got about two more projects here in the kitchen and then it's going to be complete. You might notice that we finished the tile over here on the backsplash and we were waiting on this door for I think six or nine months, a really long time. This was a custom made door and it matches our front door. So once we got that installed, we were able to finish the tile. I've just got to get my spice wheel hung up here. Many of you will remember about a year and a half ago, I finally got my dream Danish teak spice wheel and I've just been dying to get that up and that is really going to complete this space and then we've got to decide whether we're going to put the shutter doors right there next to the fur door we haven't decided we're still thinking about that one and it's so fun to finally find these amazing accessories secondhand that really enhance the space I'm kind of loving this vase up here. So I think that whenever I don't have the big one on the island, I am gonna swap out this decanter for the wooden vase because I think it looks so gorgeous with that organic shape to it. I love it. I think it accents the other stuff really well. What do you think? Dad just went outside. They both wanted to come say hi. Okay, you gotta watch out because the candle's fuzzy. Gotta watch out for that tail. I picked up some pretty special pieces of jewelry at the Rose City Vintage Market, and I got most of them from the same vendor who was very flexible on pricing, and she had really good stuff. I got this set. It is two clip-on earrings. Well, thankfully there's two because that'd be really weird if there was only one. <laughs> um, and a matching bracelet, a very classic mid-century modern design. And I got a few more pairs of earrings. These are sterling earrings with turquoise stones in them. I thought these were really pretty. And then let's see. Oh, I got little seashells. That's right. These are fun. And they have little tiny wooden beads on them, which I thought was kind of neat. And they're nice and lightweight too because they're not solid is great for people who have more sensitive ears. Amazing Thunderbird ring with a turquoise stone at the center. This one is so comfortable and I really want to keep it. It fits me perfect. It's so comfortable too, but I'm not keeping it. You know why? Because I am a vintage reseller, not a vintage keeper. <laughs> I'm trying really hard to let go of a lot of things right now because I have some very exciting projects and trips coming up that I'm saving up for. And then I got a split shank turquoise and coral southwestern ring. That one's nice. And then this beautiful flower ring. I love this one. It's got bright turquoise stones. That's old and it's sterling. A pair of pretty Mexican sterling lapis earrings. I really like these because they have the inlaid silver. It gives it that very geometric classic southwestern style. And then I have to talk about these because these are really special and I did splurge on these. But I think that they will be worth the investment because I should have at least 50% margins which is usually my goal when I buy vintage jewelry. These are by the renowned jewelry artist Consuelo Campos and they are just so different. I really 
really love them. She lived in Southern California. Sadly, she passed away in 2017, but she was very inspired by her Mexican heritage. She traveled a lot to Mexico and she was inspired by the Mayan pyramids in a lot of her work. She worked in the antique business for many years and so she learned about quality made jewelry by researching and by seeing how everybody did it. Anyways, it was really fun to learn a little bit more about this artist. I wasn't familiar with her before. And this is why I recommend not just thrifting because you only come across so many different designers when you're thrifting. When you go to vintage malls and you go to flea markets and antique fairs, you can find some things that maybe you've never even seen before and it's a great opportunity to learn. This vendor was so sweet and she gave me a bundle deal at the very end. So I'm really excited to be able to bring these special earrings to my next first Friday sale, which is going to be Friday, November 3rd. And the sale launches on my website at 3 p.m. Pacific time. And I'm even gonna have this beautiful Thunderbird ring in it. It's not just gonna be this stuff. I'm gonna have up to 200 new vintage items, including a bunch that I found on my recent European adventure. So you are not gonna wanna miss this sale because it's gonna be packed with amazing art. And I also got this very rustic, heavy copper candle holder for only $10. That's going to be in the sale too on Friday. Thank you so much for coming and shopping the Rose City Vintage Market with me today. Beyond my finds from today, by far the highlight was getting to see so many of you. So I want to say a special thank you to everybody who stopped and said hi. It is so important for those of us in this vintage community to get out there and show up and support fellow vintage dealers. So I have to give a round of applause to all of the hardworking vendors who brought it to the show and put on an incredible weekend here in Portland. I hope every one of you is having a safe and good week and I will see you all in the next adventure.